Oh, dang. Nah, they were stoned. They was making jazz and they were stoned. That's what it was. I can't believe they would do that. Oh, my kid looks fucked Like, up. incredibly stoned. That's when they smoked a whole bunch of Reggie, too. That's like 80 blunts in. Mark ran into Bernie, because Bernie's just always out there. He, he DJs a lot around town. Somehow Mark linked up with him, and he was like, oh, we have this space. You could actually move all your stuff out of storage that can't fit in your, in your house, and you can use our space for free. I restock almost every day, at least 20 to 30 records, but you know, some of those days I'm bringing in four boxes, five boxes. I'm buying collections as much as I can. Someone comes in here, they'll they'll find something they've never seen before or something they were looking for. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I mean, for me, it's giving me a great opportunity to get my business, you know, somewhere solid, not just on the internet, not just at record shows. I've been doing this for a while, just selling records. I emptied my storage unit full of records into this room and just started building this shop. And I'm continuing to build this into a, a music lover's paradise. He's been doing a great job with it. So it's dope to see him grow. It's over each day of the week. To people in my condition. Just to me. This is Real J. Wallace um, on Logan Avenue. We're doing the filming for the church videos, and I hope you can subscribe. Come check out the culture. Did you get a beat? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> This was a little too bright. You're best. You're the... <laughs> that should be the button. That should be the button right there. You click it and then... I just want her to see it. Who cares? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs>